I have been put in this box of being anti-union. It's it, And I had somebody ask me, is there anything people say about you that bothers you? Mm-hmm. And I said, that's one of the things that bothers me. I've never yeah. been anti-union. I mean, unions are free association for people. And if they want to come together and associate, if they want to strike, if they want to have somebody represent them, fantastic. It's great. I'm not anti-union. What I am is anti-closed shop where people don't have a choice any longer whether to join the union or not. And I'm anti-coercion, forcing unions on people that don't want them or companies that necessarily don't want them. So, but I fully, fully believe unions have served a historically useful position and they've, they've done many good things in our history. So I just kind of want to get that yeah. out there because, but then with Whole Foods' case, the way I th- always thought about unions was in the Madison situation, it was a, 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 a socialist college professor at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, where the store was. It was a summer project. He got his students in his class. They were that was their that was their project to I want you to organize Whole Foods Market, and they did it. They <laughs> they, so they got, they got organ- full credit. Yeah, yeah. Well, the unions can make a lot of promises. And companies cannot. We're restricted from making promises once a campaign is on. So the union got voted in, but um, that ended up being a really good thing for Whole Foods because it was a wake-up call for us. I was like, how can this be? I mean, I, what I began to realize is that the unions are a type of competitor. They're competing for the hearts and minds of your workers. And in this case, they won the Madison, you know, it was a close vote, but they right. won them over. And but then that gave us me an opportunity. Then it's like, OK, this happened here, but I'm not, I'll make sure it never happens again. So and, and how do you do that? You don't do that by hiring Pinkertons, right? And busting unions No, what? by by making your workplace such a happy place that nobody wants to pay union dues. By right. the time you get into to getting a union, you're angry. Yeah. You feel like you haven't been listened to. You you don't have opportunities. You have a boss that's being an asshole. Mm-hmm. Unions are a consequence of poor management. So I went on this tour all around. I visited every store in our company and talked to the team members about. And I kept asking the same question: How can we make Whole Foods the very best place to work in the United States? How can we be the best employer? And I got invaluable feedback. And we made a lot of changes in our structures. What were the and, types of things? Well, we, first of all, we. Those hippies that we started out being, they were now middle-aged and they had families and they didn't think the health care benefits were competitive. So we fixed that. Mm-hmm. Um, they were very concerned about uh, when you get Whole Foods was very decentralized and there's advantages to that. But one of the disadvantages is like we had in Madison, if you get a bad a dictatorial local boss, mm-hmm. um, you can't always see it. So we had to put in more controls to make sure that we, we had to set up more objective measurements for our team member, um, how satisfied people were. We need to start, tr- we need to start getting it into data and tracking it. So where we, where we had a problem store, we could, we could fix it. But so it wouldn't escalate into a, into a situation where you'd have outright rebellion like we had in Madison. So we did, we went around and we fixed a lot of, we made a lot of changes in every store in the company, but one. We had about 150 stores then. We couldn't change it in Madison because once once you put a union in, you have to negotiate strictly with the union. Right. And we try to offer the union, here's what we're doing all the rest of the company. Here's what we're going to do in healthcare mm-hmm. business. No, we don't want that. Mm-hmm. We're going to do our own thing. And so you're required by law to negotiate in good faith, which we continue to do. Meanwhile, all the stores in the company are getting better except for Madison. And then they had made so many promises to the team members the union had. And then all those organizers... They left. They, they, they got their A for organization and then went on and did, went on a speech circuit. A lot of them did talking about how they unionized Whole Foods. Yeah. And then a year later, almost to the day, they decert, decertified that union. It takes a full year. They can't do it before then. But the organizers were gone. And, mm-hmm. and then as soon as they decertified it, all the benefits and all the advantages that the other stores were getting, Madison got. And so ever since then, we have been, it's always been a goal of ours to be one of the best places to work in America. And Whole Foods was 20 year, consecutive years we were one of the 100 best companies to work for. Yeah. And we stopped competing for that the year Amazon bought the company. Right. 